Yeah, Music Arena, what's up? I'm here with none other than The Grin. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, so nice to have you in the studio. Thanks for coming down. Thank you very much. Yeah. I know since your album, The CEO, dropped yeah. in August last year. Yeah, August, August last year, yeah. Yeah, um, everywhere you go, every party you attend, your music is bumping, bumping, bumping. Yeah. But before we get there, I want to go back a bit. Can you tell us about the grin as a child? You know, I was born in Lagos, you know. I was born in somewhere in Sule called Idiaraba. And, you know, um, from Idiaraba, uh, we get to, um, you know, uh, moving here because then my father doesn't have his own house, you know. Okay. In short, I live in so many, Different I places. grew up in so many places. You all know. over Lagos? Yeah, all over Lagos. Okay, so you're a true Lagos boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be a boy. Okay. okay. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> so when did you start um, feeling passionate about music? When did you start singing, or rapping actually? Mm, um, professionally, like six years ago, but um, I started like, uh, like 13, you know, I listen to music a lot, you know, I listen to, you know, back then, you know, our parents, they don't really allow us to listen to Fela, you understand, but when my parents, when they are not around, I listen to Baba Fela a lot, you know, I listen to the old timer people like Rakim, mm -hmm. you know, KRS One, stuff like that, so I used to mime to their song, you know, and uh, my secondary school days, you know, we go to party, I mime to people's song, so suddenly I just, I found myself writing my own, you know, my own lyrics, my own dialect, you know. Okay, cool. And your, so you said your first album you released about 2000... 2006. 2006. And yeah. what was the sound? Did it sound anything like the CEO? Was that a completely different feel? Well, when I dropped the album, it was, it was up to standard um, to uh, what uh, people, what artists uh, are presenting then, you know, some, but then, you know, it was still the Yoruba thing, so nobody really, you know, nobody give the audience, you know, for Yoruba. And again, I think um, what really um, affected the Still on the Matter album, you know, lack of um, promotion and everything. So after then, I did some couple of collabs. Those collabs just kept me going and stuff like that before I dropped the CEO album. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go back to A lot of people say that you're at least one of the top two best Yoruba rappers around. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us a bit what it's like to be able to talk to your people in your own mother tongue and how they receive you? Because I know that's very special. Well, right now the the acceptance of the um, the Yoruba rap thing it's 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 some point you know tango for that. You know, I drop my lines in your my my lines in your but like you can see my spoken English is not strong enough, man. You know what I'm saying? So me, when you say my spoken English, you know, they you know, is not strong enough. I can't do what do I want to talk about? You know what I'm saying? I can't do better than fifty, I can't do better than Wheezy. Exactly. And in my own dialect they can do better than me, you know, so um, and I believe that's the best way I can relate, you know, with my own people, you know, share my feelings and everything. Yeah, and you get an amazing reception, so <laughs> I think you're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, so the CEO album um, you dropped last year, you did a number of collaborations yeah. with different artists. What would you say your favorite track on the album is, if you can pick one? I like track six, you know, track six talk about um, or make dough uh, fresh and flat and everything, you know what I'm saying? We're not making all the big dough right now, but, you know. It's coming. We, yeah, it's coming, you know, tango, we're making dough, you know. Even that, that uh, um, this same track I'm talking about, it, it's strictly parent advisory, 
don't listen to you because you mention shy you mention you know so many blah 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 like that but i think i like uh my favorite on the album is track one that's the ghetto dream you okay. know because it really speaks about you know the growing up and the hustle and the bus and everything mm -hmm. yeah If you have any listening or if, if you are a follower, I don't really talk about NSC, I don't talk about champagne, I don't talk about mobile and stuff like that. I just talk about real things, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said now, my spoken English is not strong. Now few artists we talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm so real. I want I want people to know the real me, you understand? So most of my songs just talk about, you know, the way people carry on, you know, the life, the hustle, the struggling and the good life mm -hmm. and everything, you understand? You know, and empower you to show you um uh how to make their way to the top. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I think you're a good example to the youth. I think they, a lot of them look up to you. Yeah. They like you. I know on the streets when I go and ask people who are their top three, you normally feature <laughs> amongst top, at least in the last few months. Yeah. So that's a good sign that the album is doing very well. Can you tell us about some of the um, performances and shows you've done recently? Because I know you're always all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've done so many shows. Which many. Your favorite? Um, my favorite show was in OOAU, as Obafemi Aula University. You know, like ten thousand crowd, wow. and the the acceptance. You know, the CEO album. You know, was was really my was crazy. You know, after the show and. <laughs> the way they chased me and everything, you know, it was really crazy. That's like, when you knew you'd, you'd arrived. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So what about the awards? Um, basically, right now, you know, most of the audience, you know, where we get right now, I've been looking at all this one, you know, um, basically, it's youth, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I've received so many youth awards. Okay. The only award that youth really love, that youth can really die for, is the Dynamics Award, and I got one last year. Oh, I was nominated for two and I got one. Wonderful. Yeah. And I'm sure this year you're going to be going home with lots and lots and lots. You need someone to carry all of them for you. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, we hope the best for you too. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much, Lagoon, for coming, letting us know a little bit about you and your music and how you're doing. Thank you for bringing me down. Yeah. <laughs>